Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here with a review of the WL Toys P949 Tractor. Uh, now this thing is pretty cool and unique. Uh, I have never seen an RC tractor before. Um, however, this is a clone. I think it was like a an old Tamiya, Tamiya, Tamiya. Um, they had a, a tractor kit like this, but it was, you know, several hundred dollars. So quite a bit more expensive. Uh, but for me, this is a first. I had never seen it before, and you know, I grew up out on a farm, so to me, it's pretty cool to have an RC tractor. Uh, but don't let looks fool you. This thing is fast. This is not a slow tractor. Um, as you can see here, it says 35 kilometers per hour. That's about 22 miles per hour. Uh, so this thing can get going. It is only two-wheel drive, though, or as it says on the box here, tow wheel drive. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it is only two wheel drive. So, um, you know, it's got a wheelie bar here on the back. So that's pretty funny to, to see a tractor with a wheelie bar. Uh, but if, you know, if you floor it from a, a you know, a stop, it's going to wheelie up. And actually, if you, if you floor it completely, it's going to flip over. Uh, this thing is a wheelie monster for sure. So you got to be a little bit careful and gentle on your takeoffs or you will end up flipping this thing right off the bat. Um, you can see I've, I've scuffed it up pretty good here in my test runs. I've, I've flipped it over quite a bit, but um, this body is really substantial. I mean, the plastic seems really thick and, and durable, and just, you know, really, it, I don't know, it just feels really nice, and so it hasn't cracked or broken or anything even, you know, after taking a bunch of scuffs and stuff. So seems like the body's going to last pretty well. Um, the, the driver character here leaves a little bit to be desired. Let's see if I can get that on camera pretty good. Um, he, you know, is a little lacking in detail and kind of expressionless and stuff. So I, I'm sure the more clever, artistic, modern guys are either going to replace that character entirely or, you know, paint him a little bit more detailed. Um, and also, since that's the highest part of the body, and when you flip over and stuff, you're, you're landing on his head constantly. Uh, so I actually did manage to knock his head off. It's like a separate um, piece of plastic there that's just kind of pressed into the body. Uh, so his head did get knocked off in one of my uh, flip overs, but I managed to just kind of wedge it back in there. But I'm sure it's just you know going to break off again as soon as I flip it again. Uh, so, you know, the, the driver character there is probably the most vulnerable part of the body. Um, we'll go ahead and look at it now that I've got the cover off. It is just a brushed motor. It's not brushless. Uh, so you're going to want to, you know, break it in at first, take it slow. And that is a 540 size motor. So it's a pretty good size motor. And like I said, you know, you got some good speed. And it does come with a 2S LiPo. Uh, that's a 2500 milliamp hour 2S LiPo. So good power going to that brushed motor. Uh, so it's still pretty fast, just you know, not quite as durable as a brushless motor. Uh, but yeah, we'll go ahead and look at the rest of the insides here. And it looks like this is our uh, steering servo up there in the front. The the battery goes in from the back here. There's a little um, there's you know a couple body pins that normally go on there. I've got all the body pins removed for convenience's sake. Uh, but it, the battery just slides in the back there, so pretty nice, uh, convenient uh, battery bay. Um, however, you know, you do have, you plug your battery in, and then there's an on-off switch here, um, which I don't remember. I think, yeah, you can, you can kind of get to the on-off switch with the body on there. So, you know, you don't, you can get it all plugged in and uh, connected and everything and then go turn it on out at the field so that's pretty convenient all right well then let's look at the uh, rest of the stuff it comes with this is the transmitter here so pretty standard um, you know ground vehicle style uh, same one that's come with a bunch of the other WL toys ground vehicles I've reviewed uh, so pretty nice you know you got your steering and throttle trim and your uh, turning and throttle there so you know pretty straightforward on that this is the charger it's a wall powered uh, balance plug charger pretty straightforward you know you got a little LED that tells you when it's done charging 
and then it also comes with a little tool here which i think is you know for like removing the wheel nuts and stuff like that uh pretty straightforward on all that um, i don't see any mention on the box about it being waterproof so i don't believe that this is waterproof so um you know you're not going to want to go run it in rain or through puddles or anything like that which is a little unfortunate i don't know i just feel like it being a tractor it'd be kind of cool to get it out in the mud and you know it has these big knobby tires with little spikes on it and stuff so it would have been cool if it was waterproofed and you know you could go out and get it dirty in the mud uh, but not a too not too big of a deal there um it is a pretty slow turner especially when you're going you know um, full speed it understeers a lot so it it doesn't want to um, get a good turn going at, at high speed so you got to slow it down to get the turn to kind of grip and uh, get some you know decent turning radius to it um, and I also had trouble with the steering trim kind of seems to come and go I don't know if the the servos maybe not the best or maybe it has one of those servo saver things on it I can't really see in there um, but it, it seemed like my steering trim would keep changing so you know one time it'd be going off to the left and I'd add right trim and then sooner or later it's going to the right and so a little little bit tricky there to keep it in trim but again you know it's a pretty minor issue uh let's see i think that's really about it i mean it's got good full suspension on it and actually has these like um spring loaded bumper here in the front it's pretty stiff but you know it'll give you some good protection and a head-on collision so pretty neat there uh, let's see. Oh, runtime is about 23 minutes, so pretty long runtime, even with a you know a lipo and high speed. Um, you know, obviously it's hard to get an accurate runtime on that because you can be going a bunch of different speeds. But I averaged out about three or four different runs that I did, and 23 minutes seemed to be uh, the regular speed or regular runtime. And the uh, battery takes three and a half hours to charge, so pretty long charge there. Uh, let's see. Yep, that looks like that's all there is to say about it, so let's take it out for a run. Alright, this is the run review of the WL Toys P949 high speed RC tractor. This thing is really fast, it's just two wheel drive with the rear wheels being the powered wheels. Uh, so it is a wheelie monster. So you gotta be a little gentle on your takeoffs or it just wants to flip itself, but if you Start it slow and then kind of kick into it. There's full speed. Let's bring it back. This, there we go. This is a little wheelie for you. Oh, and my, uh, my driver's head broke off and I've just kind of got it clipped back into place. So hopefully his head stays on. And here we go with the trim too, though. See, his trim's all off now. The wheels, just the front wheels, do not want to stay straight for some reason. I always am constantly trimming this thing. And kind of ironically, this isn't really great off-road because since it's only two-wheel drive and so fast, it it doesn't really have the grip, and then it ends up wanting to, um, you know, flip itself over if you try to power through stuff. But, uh, <laughs> It can do it a little bit, but I think this is really better on a smooth surface doing, you know, speed runs and stuff. See there, now my trim's way off to the right now. Trim just constantly changing on this thing. Take it over in the gravel a little bit. It's a little bouncy. The, the suspension isn't super forgiving, so it does bounce around a little bit go back to speed runs <laughs> this thing is so fast for a tractor it's so funny Ooh, that was fancy yeah this thing has got so much speed and power it can even go into a wheelie while moving sometimes and you definitely got to slow it down quite a bit to get it to turn it there's trying to turn at full speed <laughs> It will just not turn at full speed. Huge turning radius until you slow it down. It does have reverse too, if you need that. 
Oh, yeah, there's the problem with doing reverse and then trying to go forward. This thing flips itself quite a bit. Looks like my, my driver's head is staying in place pretty well, though. And there my trim's off again. It does have that little wheelie roller ball on the back, but it can still get a little unstable while on that since it's just, you know, a hard plastic wheel, especially if you're on a bumpy surface like I am. If you gun it from a stop, I mean, it's just immediately doing a backflip. <laughs> Pretty cool, uh, just full speed, turn, 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 whoa, hit a bump, oh, nice, and well, it trims off again, man. So funny, high speed tractor. Yeah, if you keep it smooth on the throttle and kind of work your way up to full speed, then it stays pretty nice and stable. It doesn't do a bunch of backflips and wheelies. a little bit more. I mean, it can certainly do it, it's just not not its specialty being only two-wheel drive and kind of geared more towards speed. It doesn't have quite, you know, quite the grip for doing off-road. It can do it. That's full turn. I mean, you can see like how much turn you get is completely proportional to how much throttle you're given. Definitely got to back off the throttle to get it to turn. Alright, well I think that was all there was to show with the sun, so we'll call that quits there. That's the WL Toys P949 high-speed tractor. Pretty cool and funny model. I have a lot of fun with this one. Pretty neat. Alright, we'll check the video description for price and purchase link. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.